electronics retailer Maplin has sought to reassure its suppliers by saying it has sufficient headroom to weather tough industry conditions, despite credit insurers cutting their exposure to the company. The Sunday Telegraph reported that insurer QBE pulled cover last month, while Euler Hermes and Atradius have also scaled back their exposure amid concerns about falling profits. In order to address doubts about the business Maplin has brought forward its financial results which reveal a slight 05 PC increase in sales to £236 million for the year to March 18. Earnings before interest, tax, depreciation dipped from £13.2 million to £12.3 million. A company spokesman clarified that pre-tax losses had widened from £6.9 million in 2016 to £16.1 million during the year, although around £10 million was due to write-downs and £13.7 million was due to an interest charge on loan notes, which are rolled up in private equity firm Rutland Partners Investment. Rutland bought the business for £85 million in 2014, far less than the £244 million previous owner Montague had paid for it three years previously. The company stressed that it had strong cash generation of £11.3 million, in line with its underlying earnings. The company said that it had also completed a refinancing last year at a lower funding cost and greater headroom. We are confident that Maplin has a winning strategy and the financial flexibility to navigate what is a challenging retail backdrop, said Oliver Meakin, chief executive of Maplin. Mr. Meakin is currently driving a strategy to revamp Maplin's business by offering more services for customers at home, such as advice and installation of smart home devices like voice recognition speakers. The company also relaunched its website last month with sales up by 5 PC over Black Friday.